If you want to learn cloud tech skills, there are three main ways you can approach this. You can learn through free resources, paid online courses, or paid boot camps. It's important to understand these learning methods because choosing the wrong one could cost you a lot of time and money and ultimately prevent you from getting your first cloud job. By choosing the right method could significantly accelerate your journey into the cloud. To help you make the best decision, I'm not only going to analyze the pros and cons of each of these options, I'm also going to give you each option a rating out of 10, with one being the lowest score and 10 being the highest score. These ratings would be based on three important factors. Price, how cheap or expensive the option is, efficiency, how quickly it can get you to your goal, flexibility, how easy it is to fit around your other responsibilities and commitments. Then at the end, I'll tally up all the scores and give some insight on how to choose between these three options. Before we dive in, I have a quick disclaimer. All of these methods we're going to talk about can help you get a cloud job. My aim is simply to help you think through the benefits and the downsides of each of these options so you can make the best decision that's right for you. At Cloud Career Mentor, we have years of experience in the cloud industry and have helped dozens of beginners get jobs in the cloud industry. And so these options are based on deep experience in the cloud space. All right, enough, let's dive into that. The first learning method we're gonna explore is free resources. Learning through free resources like YouTube videos and blog articles is one of the most common ways people learn cloud technologies. Here are some benefits of free resources. The main benefit of this approach is that, well, it's free. This means that there are no barriers to getting started as long as you have a decent internet connection. This is important because at the start of your cloud journey, you might not be sure if it's the right career path for you. And now you can learn the basics with minimal costs and begin making progress. Now let's talk about the downsides. I can already hear you wondering what could possibly be the downside of free content. Well, I'll break it down for you. The first downside is that a lot of free content is unstructured. There's a lot of information spread out across multiple YouTube channels and blogs, and it can be challenging to find the right materials for you. This means that it becomes difficult for you to focus on any one topic. One day you're doing an AWS project, the next day you're trying to learn Python, and the day after that, you're dabbling with Kubernetes. This means that you never actually go deep on any topic, and so you find yourself putting in a lot of effort but you never feel like you're actually learning anything. I speak to a lot of cloud beginners and the main problem they face is not having a structured learning plan. And this lack of structure increases their chances of feeling overwhelmed and burnt out. Speaking of learning plans, if you want to follow the same learning plans that hundreds of students have followed to get their first jobs, why not download this free guide that walks you through the three simple steps to get your cloud job? It also walks you through the most common mistakes beginners made so you can avoid them. At Cloud Career Mentor, our goal is to help you break into the cloud industry as easily as possible. So if you're struggling to get your first cloud job, then download this guide now. The link's in the description below. Let's crack on with the show. Another downside of the free content is that it's very difficult to judge the quality of the advice that's being given out. Now that I've highlighted some of the pros and cons of free resources, let's give it some ratings. Our first rating is on price. This rating is all about how affordable this learning method is. When it comes to price, free resources get a 10 out of 10. By definition, free resources don't cost anything, and so it rates really highly on price. Now let's move on to efficiency. Efficiency is how quickly it takes you to achieve your goal. In this case, the goal is getting your first cloud job. I'd actually rate efficiency as a 2 out of 10. The reason for this is that the sheer time it would take for you to find the right resources to learn is significant. You will have to sift through all the bad quality tutorials and videos before stumbling on good learning materials. The second reason for this low rating is that most free resources don't come with a structured learning plan and guidance onto how to achieve your goals. Without this, it could take you years to learn the right skills, which reduces efficiency points, as you can get a cloud job within months if you just follow the right structure. And the final rating we're going to give free resources is centered around flexibility which is how easy it is for this method to fit around your responsibilities and lifestyle. I mean, I have to give free resources 10 out of 10. You can access free resources whenever you need them. And this is very valuable as most of us lead busy lives and so have to fit our learning around other responsibilities. The next learning method we're going to analyze are paid online courses. These are courses you can get from platforms like Udemy and Pluralsight, 
that provide more curated learning materials. Here are some benefits of paid online courses. One benefit is that they usually provide more structured learning than free resources. There's no need to jump between 10 YouTube videos and 5 blog posts just to learn one topic. Everything you need is in one place. Good courses typically provide practice scenarios and assignments to help you practice your skills. This increases your hands-on experience and technical abilities. Courses are also typically taught by expert instructors, and this provides some confidence in the materials you're learning, as opposed to free resources where it can be difficult to validate the expertise of the creator of that resource. Now let's address some downsides. A downside of most online courses is that they usually focus on one topic. For example, a course on how to get a certification or a course on how to learn Terraform. Now this is a problem because your goal is to get your first cloud job. And to make that happen, you need to learn a range of technologies like Linux, AWS, Terraform, Bash, CICD, and much more. This could lead to a fragmentation where you have to use multiple platforms to learn the different technologies, which just isn't ideal, especially if these platforms have a subscription model, which means that you need to get multiple subscriptions, and this could cause your expenses to balloon up. Another downside of most online platforms is that there is a lack of student coaching or accountability. Most times, after you buy the course, you're just kind of left your own devices to complete it. Now, if you're the kind of person who is motivated and self-driven, then this might not be a problem. But what we've realized from mentoring dozens of cloud beginners is that most people need someone to help coach them, encourage them, and hold them accountable to achieve their goals. This mentorship and coaching is essential for cloud beginners to be successful, yet most course providers just don't offer this. The result is that a lot of cloud beginners buy courses but just never complete them because they don't have that additional support or mentoring. Now let's give these online courses some ratings. When it comes to price, I'm going to rate online courses a 5 out of 10. Online courses are generally more expensive than free resources, but less expensive than boot camps, which is why they're getting a nice average score. There are multiple courses for different price brackets, ranging from $20 courses to $5,000 courses. And so you can always find a course that's right for your price range. For efficiency... I'll rate online courses a solid 7 out of 10. This is because buying an online course can really accelerate your learning. Let's say you want to learn Terraform, for example. You could buy a course that teaches you everything you need to know, and you can get through it in a couple of weeks and become really good. Compared to free resources, where you can spend months going through different tutorials and still not feel confident using Terraform, the reason this score isn't higher is because we can't lose track of our goal. Our goal is to get a cloud job, and most courses will only teach you part of that puzzle. And there are very few courses that teach you all the technical and non-technical skills you need to get that cloud job. The reality is that to learn all the right skills, you need to juggle multiple platforms and subscriptions, which isn't efficient. That's why it only scores a 7. For flexibility, I will give online courses a 10 out of 10 as well same as free resources. This is because most of them are on demand and self-study, which means that you can access them when it suits you. It provides flexibility for those who have commitments like full-time jobs and families. The final method you can use to break into the cloud industry is through boot camps. A boot camp is an intensive 12 to 24 week training program that teaches students the skills they need to break into the cloud industry, usually with live training and coaching. Let's talk about the benefits. One of the benefits of attending a boot camp is that they provide live training. You'll usually get access to an instructor and regular classes that can help with accountability. You will also most likely be in a cohort, which means that you have other students that can keep you accountable and motivated. Now let's discuss downsides. The biggest downside with boot camps is the cost, as they can be very expensive. They can easily cost between $6,000 to $10,000, with some costing even more than that. This cost can be quite prohibitive for many beginners, as I've heard horror stories of people taking on a lot of debt to afford these boot camps. This cost could set you back financially and put you under a lot of financial strain. I want to emphasize that just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's bad or that it's not worth it. I just want to make sure you're aware of the situation so you can make an informed decision. Apart from the financial cost, there is also a lack of flexibility. A lot of cloud boot camps are designed to be intensive and immersive, which means they require significant time commitment. This can be a problem because most people have full-time jobs, kids, 
or other family responsibilities, and so their time is already allocated. Some boot camps require you to be at the class from 9am to 5pm every day, or they might even have classes on the weekend. Now, this might not be a problem, but if you have a full-time job or a family or other responsibilities, then this time commitment might be an issue because you might have to quit your job or reduce your hours just to be able to attend this boot camp. This means your earnings could be further reduced, especially after you've already paid hefty boot camp fees. The final downside I want to address is the difficulty in assessing the quality of the boot camp. While I know of a few boot camps who teach their students the skills they need to be successful, I've also heard stories of unscrupulous boot camps who promise their students the world. They promise that after the boot camp, the students will easily get six figure jobs as solution architects. They build up the hopes and dreams of their students, but then fail to teach their students the skills that employers are looking for. They don't give their students hands on projects with technologies like Linux, CICD, or Terraform. Now, this leaves a lot of students with high expectations, low skills, and zero chance of getting a job. It's a real shame. The final thing I want to caution you about boot camps is to be wary of those that promise a refund if you don't get a job. You might see this promise and think you're safe, because if you get a job after the boot camp, then that's great. And if you don't get a job, then that's no problem, because you can just get your money back. Now, I'd encourage you to read the fine print of these money back guarantees, because when it comes to ask for your money back, you might find that you'll be asked to jump through some serious hoops And you might find it more difficult than you imagine to actually get that refund if you even get one at all. Again, I want to emphasize that there are some great boot camps out there. And there have been a lot of people who have gotten cloud jobs after attending boot camps. Boot camps aren't inherently bad, but because of the high price, I feel it's important that you do understand what you're getting yourself into. And make sure you're confident that the boot camp can deliver for you before you sign up. All right, let's give boot camps some ratings. On price, I'd rate boot camps 3 out of 10 because they can be very pricey. Now, I'm not saying these high prices aren't worth it. I'm sure there are a lot of boot camps that teach you the skills you need. But you also need to be aware that there are a lot of boot camps that teach you $50 worth of material but charge you $10,000. I'll leave that for you to decide if it's worth it or not. On efficiency, I'd rate boot camp 7 out of 10. If you choose the right boot camp, it can be a really effective way to work on projects and pick up the skills that employers are looking for because you immerse yourself into cloud technologies. The reason the score isn't higher is because it can be difficult to pick the right boot camp. We've spoken to a lot of cloud beginners who have been promised the world by some boot camps, only for them to be bitterly disappointed. On flexibility, I'd rate boot camps 3 out of 10, because most of the classes happen at the same time on specific days. And while this is good for accountability, it can be difficult for a number of people who already have life responsibilities like full-time work or family care duties. Now that I've gone through all the learning methods, let's tally up the scores. For free resources, I gave it a 10 on price, 2 on efficiency, and 10 on flexibility, giving it a total of 22. For paid online courses, I gave it a 5 on price, 7 for efficiency, and 10 on flexibility, giving it a total of 22. For boot camps, I gave it a 3 on price, a 7 for efficiency, and a 3 on flexibility giving it a total score of 13. Now that we've gone through all these options and ratings, you might be wondering how to apply this new knowledge, how to use this information to guide your next steps. By the way, has anything I've said so far resonated with you? I'd love to hear about it. Please leave a comment on the YouTube video with your thoughts. Here is what I recommend for cloud beginners looking to get their first cloud job. I recommend that everyone starts with free resources. There are a lot of really good YouTube tutorials and videos to get you started with the basics. We have made multiple free videos on the Cloud Career Mentor channel where you can get tips and strategies on how to break into the cloud industry. We've also interviewed dozens of cloud professionals, which will help inspire you to achieve those goals. Once you're ready to take your skills to the next level, then you have two options. If you're made of money and have a lot of disposable income and feel sure that you can tell the difference between a good boot camp and a bad one, then I think boot camps can be a really good way to learn cloud skills. But for most of you, spending $10,000 and potentially getting into debt might not be the best move. This is why we created the Cloud Career Acceleration Program, which adopts the best features of online courses and boot camps to create a truly unique learning experience. We have fused the flexibility and quality that online courses provide with the efficiency and accountability of boot camps to create a new learning style called on-demand mentorship. 
This means that as soon as you sign up to the program, you get access to high quality cloud projects that you can work on at your own pace. With on-demand mentorship, you'll also get access to a private community where you can ask questions day or night and either a mentor or one of the other students will respond to you so you get exactly the help you need when you need it. To make this program even more valuable, you'll also get a personalized monthly one-to-one coaching session with a mentor. That's right, no group coaching here, but personal one-to-one membership. This means that once you sign up, you'll meet up with a mentor regularly to discuss your goals and progress to make sure you have someone in your corner cheering you on and encouraging you to achieve your goals. With this on-demand mentorship model, you can get all the benefits of a bootcamp for only a fraction of the cost. If all this sounds really good, then check out cloudcareermentor.com. I believe you have what it takes to make it in the cloud industry. All you have to do is follow the proven process, and I'm sure you'll be successful. Make sure you take advantage of this program to accelerate your cloud learning. If you've watched this video all the way to this point, it means that you really want to break into the cloud industry. But have you ever wondered if the cloud industry is right for you? Do you have what it takes to succeed? To answer those questions, check out the video called Is a cloud career right for you? We go through some questions you need to answer to determine if the cloud industry is right for you. Check it out and let me know what you think. See you in the next one.